It's a little too wet right now. Yeah. Normally this looks great. Nice and shallow and just sort of scuffed the surface of the soil. So it's a little moist here at the moment. But you can see how she's working it real close to the edge there. The way these tines are set up right now, you know, you're gonna get close to one edge, one edge only. Nice close to this road. Yes. But this side, you're not getting very close at all on the other side. Yeah, that's one of the problems that I've noticed with these. We have the, the tines set up for our row spacing, and we do the row spacing based on the trip tape. If the trip tape wiggles or moves when I'm using the cedar, it results in something like this. So I think maybe having a, a taut string and a stretch would be slightly more effective. Or maybe making a pass through the bed, cultivating a little tarp space, and then planting. The tine is set really well on the first row, on the row to the left of the tine. That's where we're looking at it. You move that to the center, use a wider sweep. You can also put another tine on there and get closer to both sides. You can use your rear gang. Not so much to get close to the crop, but you can get the center with the rear gang. You can get behind the tires with the rear gang. We really don't have efficient spacing right now. It's basically us trying to get our row spacing set up with the equipment that we have, and so far it hasn't been the most effective. So we can fit more rows in the bed. And see, if I, if I drop it down further, it's, uh, it's too deep over here, but I'm not exactly hoping anything on the far left.